some rigs have really tr stood the test of time. Take for instance the good old combi rig. Lots of people really like using it since we brought out the new Tricklink Hook Link. A couple of the lads in the team, young Tom and Callum, have really been smashing up the local waters with it. If you don't know quite how to tie one up and fancy giving it a try, I'll show you quickly how to do the Albright knot, which is the important bit which joins the stiff hook link with the supple end section. The Albright knot's really easy to do and I'll give you a quick demonstration of how to do it now. I've tied up a couple of simple knotless knotted mugger hook links using nice soft braided hook link, in this case trickster heavy. It's literally lovely silky smooth, perfect for the combi rigs. You can either combine that with a fluorocarbon, uh, I tend to find that the £15 ones with the Albright are good and strong, it's strength important when you're playing big fish and weed, um, or the new trick link. I'll do it with this just for the demonstration. Start off just by taking about six inches more than you need for the finished hook link. Fold it over so that you've got about an inch and a half, is that two inches? And I tend to fish with the supple section on the combi rigs quite short. So when I start it off, I actually start it off with the eye of the hook literally positioned in there and then you do six wraps up and then pinch the other end keeping it all nice and tidy and then six, three or four wraps down is sufficient you don't need the same number down as you do on the way up because they're literally just locking it all in position and then back through the opposite way from the direction that the soft part of the hook link originally goes through the loop this again helps lock it into position and then wet the knot with a little bit of saliva and I find pushing it down to start it off just helps from marking the, the hook link material Stop pulling down on one side, then increasing the tension with the other, then the same again. And that's pretty much it really. It's just a case of trimming off the excess. Always leave a few millimetres of material of the soft part of the hook link. The other side the stiff part of the uh, combi link can be trimmed down a little bit tighter and there you go it's as simple as that what I do at this point normally would be dry that part of the knot down and just wrap a little bit of um, critical mass around it and you're ready to go once your hook baits on ever so simple you see the difference between that and the skinned hook link is the relative stiffness between the two materials is that much greater so the hooking mechanism is that little bit more efficient. Really simple, really good and really reliable.